Right. Welcome, guys, to Monday Night Team Trainees. It's been a while since um, I've hosted one for you guys. So tonight is focused on goal setting. Now, it's something that we all know. It's something that is so simple. Yet, I've been there where we forget to set goals or we lose, lose track or we lose a bit of belief. Um, we lose a bit of clarity or we hit our goals and we don't set any new ones and then we wonder why we're not moving or attracting anything in. So we're going to do a little bit of goal setting now. I got a little bit inspired because I got hold of um, for elite leadership, elite leadership, yeah, I said that right. Um, one of, um, I call it Linda Evan didn't actually get all on goal setting. So I'm going to do a little bit of what um, I did with her, with you guys, because um, it, it was really cool and it was a little, it was powerful. It was just about 20 minutes. Um, and, you know, most of you guys I do the one-on-one -on -one coaching calls with anyway. But so we're working on the goals specifically. But I guess what I would love what I'd love for you guys is to, the more you hear this stuff, the more it becomes like habitual to you. So it becomes really important. So I'm sure you guys have, I know you have because we've had the conversation at some point in the last five years and it was more than once definitely with some of you guys where we feel, we feel stuck, right? We feel stuck. We don't have a clear vision. We feel like all we're doing, we feel like we're doing wash, rinse, repeat, but nothing's happening. And one of the things that can real can be a um, deciding factor in breaking through the struggle or well, breaking through the struggle, right, is are we actually clear on our goals? Now, when we do goal setting, there's a big difference in putting down, I want to be SSC3 club and I want to earn an income that covers the mortgage that makes me feel financially independent and stable and have feelings of abundance. Can you see how one's kind of just like a title? But really, when we say we want SSC3 Club, for example, that's about anywhere from $1,000 to $2,000 residual income a month. That's a mortgage payment. And we know if we can cover the mortgage or if we can cover the rent, we're going to have that security feeling, that stability, that certainty, right? Can I just get a, those of you who have your video on, does that make sense? Who got your video on to Sam? Yep, so, um, Sam's nodding. All right, oh yeah, Amber made it on, hey girl. All right, so, <laughs> um, goal setting, oh my gosh. Okay, I've got to not look at the gallery because it's distracting me from my train of thought. So being really specific now, you might be like, but Kim, I've already done my goals. Fantastic. That's amazing. What I, the reason we're doing goal setting is because you might have set your goals two weeks ago, but do you look at your goals every day? So there's a massive difference between people. So there's three types of people who want to build business when it comes to goal setting. There's the person who comes in wishy-washy. Yeah, I'd love to do this. Oh, I don't really, I don't really want to say I want to get to, I don't really have any goals because I, I pretty much have fear of failure, but they like, I don't want to put pressure on myself. So no goals at all, nothing to even work towards um, because they're a bit, they're fearful. And I, I say this because I've been there. Then the second type is I'll set a goal. Cool. I've set the goal. They never look at it. They never look at it for ages. They just leave it in the closed book of their journal. And then they go do the do and they feel like they're not really getting anywhere. And then there's the people who set the goals and they look at them every single day. Or at, like, as often as they can. And the people who do that are the people who are actually achieving these goals a lot faster and having more growth and success. There's still challenges that come along the way, of course. So I want you guys to be really conscious of, of this. Now, um, I do something I read. I have a mission statement, which is kind of like my goals, really like in a full detail mission statement. Side note, I am planning a mission statement writing team training those of you in Perth and people will be able to zoom in if you're not in Perth at my house in a couple of weeks. So stay tuned for that. Um, but if you don't, um, some of you guys do have a mission statement. Some of you guys are like, what are you on about, Kim? That's fine. Just think of it as a goal setting. I, I want you guys to have goals so you read them when you wake up in the morning. So you know you have to, because goals remind you of what you're doing. Can, can I get some feedback in the chat? Can you, if you're watching now, um, watching live, can you please pop in 
have you ever felt the way where you know that you have a goal, you haven't really like reassessed them in a while and you do wake up and start, and you feel like, well, I don't really know what I'm aiming for or what do I have to do today? And you feel like you need to schedule in time to sit down and get clear, but you know you did that just a week ago. So you feel like every week you have to sit down and like, oh, I've, I've got to do some planning. I've got to do this. Um, does anyone know? It sounds like, yeah, that's me. This is me. I've been there. I've been there heaps. Anyone else? Where everyone else has got their goals, reading them every single day without fail, adding to them. Jade, me, yep. Olivia, me. This is good for you, Locke. You're just learning. So you can start from now <laughs> to do this. Um, okay, so I want we're going to do some a little bit of goal setting here, and the reason I want you to do this is because and write it somewhere. Like you might have your book, rewrite it after, or rip the page out, have it at your bedside table, or if you do, um, if you commit to a morning ritual and show up for yourself and actually take the effort to do your journaling or your meditation or whatever it is you do in the morning, your gratitude. You have your goals there. You want to read your goals every day. Because when you do that, it's like your vision board. But it's so much easier to write your goals down than have to feel like I've got to set time aside for a vision board and you leave it and you leave it and you leave it, right? When you read your goals every day, it reminds you of why you're here. So what I want you to do, get your pen and paper. I'm going to play some music. I'm going to give us about seven <coughs> minutes, excuse me, seven minutes. And you're just going to start just take, you're going to take a deep breath in, deep breath out, just do some breathing. And you're just going to start to write your goals down. You'll start and you might feel a little bit, I don't know what it is, all over the place. And then you'll start to flow. Now, I'm talking about dreaming big, guys. Like, just start writing down what you want to achieve. You might notice that some self-doubts coming up or some um, self-worth issues are coming up. You might be like, oh, am I worthy of that? Am I not? When you Just kill them. Kill those thoughts straight away. And I just want you to write. write. And I'll, I'll kind of cue some things. I'll share a little bit of like what came up for me when I did this. Um, some of you might already know your goals. Some of you might not be that clear, but it's just about getting pen to paper, getting it out of the cloud in your head and on the paper. So are we ready? How do I play? I think if I play, ooh, but not have it too loud. We've got some nice cold play music. Can we all hear the music? Someone chuck in the chat. Oh, yeah, yeah, cool. All right, let's go. Just start writing out things you want to achieve in your life. Now, I'm not talking business. Like, what do you want, to, what do you want your home life to be like? What type of house do you want? What do you want to work towards? Do you want to travel? What type of experiences do you want to have? You know, one of mine was owning a tree house on a tropical island. Like a tree house, somewhere that it's like a touristy thing that you could, like a holiday home. Do you want a holiday home? What car? Do you, do you have goals for like, like it can be materialistic? What type of legacy do you want to leave? Now, legacy is how do you want to be remembered? What effect did you have on other people? How do you want to help other people? Where, do you, where would you love to see yourself in a few years' time, in 10 years, in 50 years? Just let it keep flowing. Doesn't matter if it doesn't make sense, as long as it makes sense to you. Do you want to save up a certain amount? Do you love money like I love money? And you have a goal that you want to have in your bank account. Money's just energy, remember? Everything that we want to do is just energy. It's just represented in different forms. Do you want to buy clothes from certain shops?
You know, do some things that you'd love to pay for, but you might not be able to afford it now, but you actually would love to spend that money, whether it's clothes, shoes, if you're a handbag girl. What do you want to create? So a bit, not business promotional wise, but what about how this business is a vehicle? What do you want to create? What impact do you want to have? How do you want to deliver that impact? What are some feelings that you would love to feel? So about two more minutes. Those of you who are mamas, I know it's very easy to start thinking about kids and making it about your kids. But make sure you've got some goals in there for yourself as well so you're still staying true to who you are. Really think. What's something you would love? Like this is your chance to dream. Don't write something and be like, oh, no, I don't, I don't think I can get that. No, 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 no. That's, that's lies. You're just telling yourself, like, just dream big. You might want to own a private jet. Just be in, like, this is your time to be in that creative space. Got some ads happening. Lovely. No. Good old free YouTube. Keep going, we got one more minute. Maybe if you have if you feel a bit stuck right now, look over, can you refine any of them or summarize or reread it? Do you want to travel to every single country in the world? Do you want to go on a cruise? Do you want to live with ocean views from your bedroom window? All right, finishing off that sentence that you were on. All right. I'm just gonna pop it on gallery view. All right, oh, there's only two bit. How do we go? Did we get some cool goals down? Do we get a bit creative? Did anyone have any moments where we felt a bit like, ooh, do I deserve that? Is that possible? Did anyone get a little bit of a, like, it almost was out of reach, but you wanted it, like you wanted to put it down? That's just more, I just want to see if there's any awareness of, if that happened to you, there was a little bit of awareness of, you know, because when I did mine and I wrote down like a tree house on a tropical island, I'm like, of course I can do that. I stayed in one in Hawaii. And it was like, it, had, it, only had, it didn't even have three of its walls. It was like a mosquito net. <laughs> and I was like, this would have been so cheap. Like in my head, I was like, I found that's so expensive. I don't think I can do that. I'm like, Kim, you just questioned your worthiness. So the reason I got you to do this, now I want you to go through and I want you to, so I want you to choose um, five. So five of the, the top ones that are your most important goal, that I mean the most to you. So go through and just choose five, the circle, asterisk, dot, <coughs> excuse me, whatever it is, just five that you feel are your most, most best goal. I cannot think of the word, you know what I mean. The most important to you. So if you could eliminate some, but don't eliminate, just choose your top Top five that you, like when you read it, that's like, that gets you moving. That's like, I would, I would do anything to create that. I would love to create that. It would mean the world to me. So find your five.
So once we've got our five from here, so I want you to put next to them two, uh, it's, you work it out. So you're either going to put one, um, this is just wait, let me explain this first before you start. So you're going to put one, three or five plus. So this is what would you like to see happen in one, within one year? One, you know, one, around the one year mark, three, obviously around the two, three, four year mark and then five plus. Or if you know something super big, you can put 10 plus. Just, add, just create a little bit of a chronological, a little bit of a timeline. I just realised when people watch this recording, I'm watching you guys in the gallery. <laughs> people are going to see my face. Just staring. Extra sexy. So you can have, that. you might have three of them, three of your five that you know is, you know three years you would love for it to happen. One year would just be so unrealistic. But if you had five on it, you'd be like, oh, you're just delaying. So I think I had two ones, two threes and a five for my top five. Then from here, I want you to choose your top three out of those that you've labeled the three most important. Am I making sense? Hopefully I'm making sense. <laughs> yep. Now the, now the reason for this, I'm not saying any is more important than the other, like worthy, wise, or whatnot. It's just so you don't get overwhelmed and we can narrow it down so you can just have something to start focusing on. Now, now your page might look a little bit messy and that's fine. Your homework, now I say homework and... The downside of me saying homework is I know not everyone's going to do this, which is it's, it really is a bit heartbreaking because I just want to help you guys so much. So show up for yourself and do the homework. Once we, once we get off this call in like five minutes, um, if you need to rewrite it or pick those or even write it in everything you put like around the one year mark, then you, you're three and then you fight. So like chronologically <laughs> order it. Did I say that right? I think so. Um, and just have a look because the reason you've done this is you're like, okay, I've got some things that around the one year, some things around the three years. Can you start to see now that, okay, where do I need my attention to go um, to get the focus, right, to get me motivated? And, and, and when you put a timeline on it, you know, can we share? Can some of you guys share in the chat? Like what are your top three, write one, depending how big it is, write it down, tell me the year amount you put on there. Uh, let's inspire each other. Let's see what we're all thinking. It can be anything, guys. We're all, you know, we're all individual. There's no right or wrong. I'd love to, I'd love to see your goals. You have to tell me now anyway because I'll remember. <laughs> all right. I was like, why are no comments coming up? But you guys are, like, typing it all. all right, type, type, type. I want to see all of you. Come through, so Brit, Jade, Amber. Oh, hey Tish! Sorry, I didn't see you jump on. Hey girl. Hopefully, you didn't miss the start, but it's been recorded. <laughs> All right, Sam. Three plus to be able not to go back to work after having a baby, so it'll be matching my income and make I make now consistently. That's so amazing. That is that is so doable. Like three years from signing like using this business as the vehicle for income you can get to nmd in three years i did it and i didn't even do anything for like the first year and a half i was so lazy right <coughs> so so doable jay to be able to travel twice a year with mitch and family with no care about money and build that up to be able to do that within three years love it so good it's the best feeling all right anyone else going to share Lucky and Olivia, Tammy. Here we go, came through. I want to be able to do lots of activities with mats like swimming, sensory play, pole dancing, fitness. It all costs, so I want to be able to afford it all. I love it. What's your yearly, what's the timeline that you're giving yourself? I'm hoping you write down what I'm thinking that that's totally doable. In. Yay! 
Easy. One year. Amazing. That's so good. Okay, so everyone else must be not typing. Spanked bottoms for you guys. I oh, know I can see Tish typing. I don't know what you're writing though. <laughs> All right. Thank you for those of you who shared. So the reason, um, what was my, oh, my book's in the other room. My one year, one of my one year ones is, um, my, my one year one that was a, is more business focused is to create a, a program that, um, and I've been like kind of working on this so everyone can be like, we'll get it once it's done. That really makes an impact through my passion for health and wealth and using the areas of movement, nutrition, and mindset. So that's something I know I can create in the next year. Um, how terrible of mine, I've got them written down because I did it just yesterday. <laughs> I can't remember. Um, one was my treehouse one, one was talking on stage around the world, running my events um, in front of thousands of people. So I gave myself a five year for that. Um, so I'm just sharing with you guys, keeping you guys accountable. Oh, I remember my other one year one. It was to um, the house we move into. I can see the ocean as I wake up from my bed with my big windows that look over the ocean and I'm walking distance from the beach here in Perth. That is going to happen. So um, I just love that. It's a big goal of mine. So <coughs> the reason, so we've done this now and I want you to get conscious of it because what we do is we have the dreaming side, the creative side, the opportunity side um, in ourselves, and then we have the fear, the control, um, the worrying, the we need certainty. When you want too much certainty, you don't allow for possibility. And I know that sounds silly or it might sound like, how do you make that happen? Because I'm a control freak. And... I know um, we all have that part of us, right? We need certainty. We need to know what's happening. But when we have too much control and certainty, usually driven by a fear, right, of um, the fear of uncertainty, we're not allowing for possibility. So having this there, like when you read this stuff, when you read your goals and know what you're aiming towards, like anything is possible, guys. And what's really cool about goal setting and being a part of this business is like Juice Plus is your vehicle, Unless one of your goals was business specific, every other goal you have on there, this business can create. Because at the end of the day, if we want something or we want to create something, it comes. It really comes down to time and money, right? Um, and if we're already making the money, we don't have to do the other work or the, or the traditional job or whatnot. It gives us more time to create what we want or to experience the things or go do that traveling. Um, or have those magic moments with the family and not stuck in your normal J-O-B. So um, have this, rewrite it up nicely. Now, when you rewrite it up, this is, do not miss this part. Um, when you rewrite it, you choose your top three or you can do your five. It's completely up to you. Uh, you can do all of them and stay with free. And write them as if you've already achieved them. So, um, and, and write them um, in gratitude. So what I would do, for example, um, for Tammy, I am so grateful that I'm able to do lots of activities with Max. Like, so, like you can literally, have, you literally say that um, saying, and I'm so grateful. I wouldn't even say um, I want to be able to afford it to do it all. I will literally just say I'm so grateful to be able to do lots of activities with Max, like swimming, sensory play, pole dancing, and fitness um, every day. So I'm and how it's gonna make you feel or whatever. So write your goals and like Jade, I am so grateful that I'm able to travel a minimum of twice a year. So you don't wanna restrict yourself to just twice a year, you wanna say minimum of twice a year with Mitch and family with no limitations, um, with no limitations. So if you say no limitations with money, you might manifest limitations elsewhere. So can you see how um, the reason I'm getting a bit specific with your verbiage, um, I'll do Sam, I'll give you your example too, Sam. Um, I am so grateful that, how would I say that? I am so grateful that I get to be a stay-at-home mum with my baby um, and I'm so grateful for the family that I'm going to create. 
and say, oh, and I'm so grateful that my business brings in enough income that it allows me to be a stay-at-home mom. Can you see how the way you word it as if it's already happened? Now, the reason if it's already happened, if you say this and talk about your goals as if you are not there yet, you never, like, it's not going to happen because you're always going to put it further away from you. Does that make sense? You're always going to put it, oh, I'm not there yet, I'm not yet there. You've got to um, talk as if you're already doing it because then when you do it, it's like, okay, who do I need to become now? Every single day when you wake up, have that bit of paper. Read it. Like I have my little mission statement piece of paper and I sit there with my cup on and I read it. If you tell me and turn around I don't have time, get up five minutes earlier. Put it on your phone. Use your phone to wake your light. Use the light to wake you up. Go into your notes. Have it and read it to yourself. It will take you literally two seconds while you're going for your morning wee. <laughs> you know, go in. Our scales are fine because we sit down. Any of the lads, just don't drop your phone into the toilet, all right? <laughs> Can you see how you can't use an excuse? If you find an excuse not to read your goals, which will take two minutes max of your morning, you are going to find excuses all the way through your life towards your goals. Now, I know that's a bit intense, but it's like there's no else way to say it. Like you can either make excuses or you can create reasons to actually get there. And, and, it's, and we know this, we hear this, and we're like, it's so true. You're like, yes, I know, Kim. But then we kind of get caught up in like life that happens and we have to remind ourselves. So... Read this first thing in the, like in the morning, it is there and it's reminding yourself because then you, it's the universe, does, the universe doesn't recognise what you want or what you, what you say or what you even feel, it recognises who you become. So the reason I said that is who, and, and that makes sense, right? Who do you need to become? So if I want these goals, who do I need to become? Do I need to be consistent? Do I need to get up early and commit to myself? Do I need to be grateful about what I have already? Do I need to care more? Do I need to get out of my own way? And the reason I say this is this is something, especially since conference, I have been like this mental battle in my head and I'm like, no, Kim, stop the excuses. Like I have gotten up except for about three days last week because I'm pretty sure I got a little bit run down but I don't want to admit it out loud. I'm not sick. I'm on juice plus. <laughs> is, um, Danny gets up at 5 a.m. I don't need to get up at 5 a.m. I've created a, an incredible life where I can wake up whenever I want. Get up at 5 a.m., no excuses. Do my morning rituals. So, sort my day out. And I can probably guarantee I wake up earlier than most of you guys on the call who go to a normal job. And, and the reason I say that is because before that, especially traveling, like, I was waking up whenever. I was like living in the moment, but I wasn't planning my goal. I wasn't focusing on my goals. What else can I create? What else can I do? Who do I need to become? Because I know I'm going a little bit over the time I wanted to, but this is the stuff that I really hope it resonates with you because it's really helped me get out of my own way and it still does help me get out of my own way. I still get in my own way, lots and lots, is that, okay, damn it, I just had it and I lost it. Like who do we need to become? Oh, because you have your goals there right now. The reason you have not achieved them yet is because you have not become the person you need to be to, to create the income or to create the community or to whatever it is you need to create to get there. Otherwise, it wouldn't be a goal because you already have it. And think maybe think of the things that were, used to be a goal for you, but you're already there. So now they're not a goal. You don't even think about them because you've already created it, right? Does that, does that make sense? Like, for example, in this business, you don't think about most of you are at SC, right? Um, you don't even think about being SC because you're done, gone. You don't even need that on your vision board. You don't need that anywhere. But you forget that only a few months ago before you got SC, that was all you could think about. Who did you have to become to get there? What did you have to do every day? So I'm using that business as an example. I love that's what's so good about this business. So um, can I just get a uh, yay or something in the chat because most of your videos are off that that makes sense. I can see Sam and um, Tammy like, yes. <laughs> so awesome, awesome. So it's about who, who do you need to become, which means show up for yourself. Stop having the excuses. Stop having that I'm not worthy. It's bullshit lies you are telling yourself because you are so worthy. But the only way, and this is what I just got, I only just got it a few weeks ago. I only, it only just clicked. The only way to prove to myself 
and the universe, I am the universe, the universe is me, right? The only way to prove that I'm actually worthy is I need to show up. So I'm getting up early. It might take me half an hour to wake up, but I got up because if I go back to sleep, I'm not waking up for another couple hours. And then I feel like shit because you oversleep. So I'm showing up. I'm doing the do. Even when I'm feeling a bit run down, like the last couple of days, I've taken it easy. I have felt a little bit bad because I'm like, oh, I haven't got through everything I wanted to. But I'm like, Kim, you can't like, feel so bad on yourself. You're going to burn out. you still got to find the balance or strategic imbalance, as they say. So I'm totally rambling. I, just, I, I want to help you guys so, so much. And it's, if, you can, if you can get to the fact that it's who do you need to become to achieve what you want, then you're going to get out of your own way, out of your head and into your heart, and you've got your goals there to look at, to remind yourself. And it's okay if you have a funky day or a crappy day. It's fine. But you've got that to look at, just to remind yourself and realign. So um, I really hope that's helped. Next Monday night, the beautiful Amber, I think I got the dates right, Amber is sharing some really cool stuff. And then the week after, I think I'm going to go into like scheduling so we can try and um, bring the from the goal setting space to the scheduling like the dmo what we have to do um and whatnot and a little reminder if you have not watched the live stream i did today about the 10-week program recruiting program that caitlin and i have done please go watch it i'm not going to repeat it here because it is totally going to cut out in less than a minute oh my god it's going to cut out any moment so please go watch that live stream i did it in the team today and um, it's just going to help you. Just go, go watch it and comment once you've watched it so I know you've watched it. Okay, it might cut out, but I hope you guys love that. Um, and I'll see you guys who have booked in for a coaching call tomorrow. Yay! If you don't know that you, about the coaching calls and I have posted in Team Girl Power, send me a private message and we can hook up some times. Okay, I didn't breathe then. I'm going to love you and leave you. Mwah, mwah, mwah. Go do something to show up for yourself before you go to bed and grow your business and change some lives. Woohoo! All right. See ya!